Hello Da Vinci, welcome back. So this is our computing lesson for this week. Now, I know we might not have some of the resources at home for computing. So what we're going to be looking at is our e-safety. And e-safety is all about keeping safe on the internet. So I've got something to share with you here. It's all about a story and it's all about discussion for today. So this is the adventures of Smarty the Penguin. So we're imagining this is maybe like a birthday. It could be maybe like Christmas time, but it looks like a birthday time at the minute. This is when it's set. So let's have a look. So these are some of the things that you may like, and you might want to pause the screen here. You might want to have a look around. These are all the things that I know a lot of you will be doing at home maybe at the minute. And I just wanted to point these out that these are some of the things that maybe you know that you do at home. And this is the adventures of Smarty the Penguin. So it's a late night, Smarty the Penguin was wide awake. He's too excited to sleep because tomorrow, I was right, it's his birthday. And he's really hoping that he gets that brand new tablet that he's been asking for. So the big day came and he really enjoyed his birthday party and he saved the most exciting present till last. He said, oh, I really, really hope that it's that tablet of my own. I really hope that I get my own tablet. So he began to open the present and Smarty tore off the wrapping paper in such a hurry and Mummy and Daddy Penguin had bought him the brand new tablet. It's just what he wanted. He said, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's so excited. Smarty's parents enjoy using the internet and they are always there to help Smarty. Smarty was allowed to play a game on his tablet once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Mummy Penguin helped Smarty to find his favourite game and he was off. He was ready. He knew what he was doing. He was off to play. Everything was going really, really well. And then Smarty was having such a super time. But all of a sudden, something really strange happened. A picture popped up on the screen. It was really colourful and, and Smarty didn't know what to do. How annoying, said Smarty. I'm in the middle of my game. I know. I'll get rid of the picture by clicking on the red cross. So Smarty tapped that red cross, but an even bigger picture appeared. And you can see from before, we had the small card with some money and the X, and he's clicked the X, and then this winner and pay now with an even bigger picture has popped up. He said, hold on, I don't remember entering any competitions. Did I spend some money by accident? I know that that can happen sometimes. I'm, I really hope that Mummy and Daddy Penguin won't be upset. And he's really confused. He says, oh no, what happened? So, can you help Smarty make the right decision? Should he try and fix that problem by himself? And he'll try and get rid of that picture again? Or should he ask his parents for help? I want you to pause the video and have that discussion with your toy. And why you think that? OK, he says, help, cried Smarty. Daddy, Mummy Penguin, please help me. Something's gone terribly wrong. I pressed a button and now there's a funny picture on my screen. I don't know what it means. So you can see he's asked for help. And Daddy Penguin's come over and he says, well done, Smarty, said Daddy Penguin. What a sensible little penguin you are. Well done for coming to us and not trying to fix it yourself. So Mummy Penguin was so pleased with Smarty, she taught him a little poem to make um, sure that he makes those sensible choices on the internet in future. So Mummy Penguin saying, say it with me. So it's the, the poem is, before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. And that's Mummy, poet, Mummy Penguin's little poem. A bit of a tongue twister. So Mummy Penguin then deleted that picture and um, that had popped up and Smarty continued to play on his tablet. The next morning, Smarty rushed downstairs because he was ready to play his morning game online and Daddy Penguin was already up and about and he was reading his newspaper. Smarty went onto the internet, but something had changed. You can see it looks like Google is open on his tablet. This isn't right. Smarty was very confused. He says, hang on a minute. I know what's happened. My big brother, Bertie, has been using my tablet again without asking me. Smarty knew that this website was for much older children and he wasn't sure what he might see. 
And because he's gone through kid, uh, because he's gone through Google and not Kiddle, there's some websites that might not be suitable for Smarty. He thought he might know how to get back to his favourite game and what buttons to press. But on the other hand, he wasn't sure what he'd see if he pressed those buttons. What should he do? Should he try and get to the right website all by himself? Or should he maybe ask for help? Have a discussion. Well, let's help Smarty make that right decision by saying Mummy Penguin's poem. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Help, shouted Smarty. Mummy Penguin, Daddy Penguin, please help me. I'm trying to find my game. But Bertie's changed it. Smarty, replied Mummy Penguin, you're a superstar. You did just the right thing by asking for some help and not trying to find that website by yourself. Mummy Penguin helps Marty get back to his game and everything was fine again. Later that afternoon, what do you reckon Smarty was doing? Well, that's right, he was back online playing with some of his friends on his tablet and he was trying to get to the top of the leaderboard on his favourite game. He was getting better and better. All of a sudden, there were some other players saying some really unkind things to Smarty's friend, Percy. One player said, you're not very good at this game, are you? And he laughed. The other player continued to talk. He said, I don't want you playing our game anymore, as they teased Percy. Percy was really upset and he left the game quickly. And Smarty felt a bit sad. He didn't understand why they were being mean to Percy. Why was that happening? Pause the video and have a chat. So now we've got a de another decision. Smarty's now on this game. His friend has left the game because of some of the mean things that some of the other players have said to him. Should Smarty ignore the messages and do nothing? Or should he tell his mum and dad instead? What do you think? Have a discussion. Let's say Mummy Penguin's poem to help. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Daddy Penguin, Mummy Penguin, called Smarty. The other players are being mean to Percy and not letting him join our game. What shall we do? Daddy Penguin said, oh, Smarty, you've been so sensible. Well done. Unfortunately, not everyone on the internet is always kind. And sometimes other players can say some mean things. If this happens to you or one of your friends, then you should always tell either an adult or whoever's at home, as there are lots of buttons to help you. There is a block button so you can block a player. There's a report button so that you can tell the company of the game that you're on that they're being rude to their other players on the game. And there's also a mute button so that you don't have to hear them speak anymore. Remember, it is just as important to be nice to someone online as it is in the real world. We want everyone to feel welcome and happy when using the internet. From that day on, Smarty the Penguin always knew how to be safe when he was using his tablet and playing on the internet. If anything happened that made him feel worried, upset or confused, he didn't try to fix things by himself. He stopped, he thought about what had happened and he'd asked an adult for help. Just like our poem that we heard, that we learnt earlier, Mummy's mummy special poem, so you could say it with me. It says, before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. And that is our poem that's going to help us with being safe on the internet. So this is Smarty's message to you. I am very lucky because I know who my superhero is and, that, and I know who will help me when I need it. But my question for you and Smarty's question for you is who can help you? Just like our PSHE lesson, we found out who our superhero is to us, who can help us when we're sick, who can help us when we've hurt ourselves, who maybe prepares our food. But who is that special superhero to you 
when being safe online. And that's your time to chat. I'm not expecting any submissions onto Tapestry for this lesson. I just need you to really think about how you're being safe online. But my challenge would be, could you tell an adult what you do to keep safe online? Maybe you could even tell an adult um, and your, your special superhero, um, Mummy Penguin's poem, okay? The one that we've learned through this video. Thank you very much for coming along to this computing lesson. I know it's been a little bit different from our usual computing sessions, but that's how we're going to be running some of them for this, um, for this term. So thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye, Da Vinci.